grade ones. Today we're going to learn how to draw a picture. Miss Ta is going to teach you two things. Number one, we're going to learn how to draw this picture. How we do it is we write the word dog and then we draw a dog from the word. Number two, Miss Ta is going to show you a new technique called shading with your pencil. Let's see what we need today to do this activity. We need a sharp pencil. We need an eraser in case we make a mistake. A sharpener to make sure our pencil is always sharp. A tissue or a piece of toilet paper. And the colors you want to use to, to color in your dog. Are you ready, grade ones? Let's start. Good grade ones. Are your pencils ready and nice and sharp? Miss Ta is not going to use a pencil, but I want you to use your pencil. I am going to use this black pen so that you can see my lines nicely. Let's start by writing the word dog. Do you know how to spell dog? D -a -g. D-A-G. Let's start. You go, you make a K and go up to make a D. Can you see that this has a diaper first? Don't get confused between your D and your B. Then a O for Oscar Orange. And G. There's our word dog. D -a -g. D-A-G. Let's start drawing our dog. First we go to the top of the D and we draw a half heart shape that looks like this. That will be the dog's ear. Then we draw a straight line across. A half circle at the top. Another straight line across. Can you see the dog? Let's draw some eyes. And his nose. And his neck. His mouth. And then his collar. A collar is like a dog's necklace. The collar tells you what the dog's name is or where the dog lives and there's his collar. On your collar you can write your dog's name. If you don't have a dog you can think of a name that you want to call your dog. So Miss Ty is going to write fish because that's my dog's name. There's your dog. How beautiful is our dog? But what is our dog missing? It's colors, that's right. So let's get our colors out. These are the colors Miss Ta is going to use. And I'm going to teach you how to do shading. I'm going to choose the color black because fish is black. But you can choose any other color for a dog. What colors are dogs? Brown, gray, maybe a light brown with dark brown patches, you can decide. So how we shade is we're going to use our sharpener, we're going to put our pencil in our sharpener and we're going to sharpen our pencil. What we want are these little pieces of color, not the wood that's coming off, the little pieces of color. Can you see? And we're going to put those little pieces of color onto our dog, shake your sharpener, then you can use a finger but it will make your finger a little bit dirty so it's better to use a tissue or a piece of toilet paper. You put the tissue on your finger, on your dominant hand, so Miss Tara is right handed so I'm going to put it on my right hand index finger 
and then all you do is rub in circles. Can you see when I rub in circles, the black is going onto my picture? It's okay if you go out the lines, we can just rub it out. Don't forget his ears. And his neck. Okay, so you can see Miss Tar is now finished with the black. I made some mistakes of where it went out the line, so I just take my razor, tidy my picture up a bit, just to make sure that the black stays into the line. There we go. And then we can color in the collar. Miss Tar's going to choose the color blue. Staying in the lines. Then we can colour in his nose. If you want, you can also shade the nose. But Miss Ty is choosing to colour in my nose instead. Dogs have black noses or sometimes they have a brown nose. So you can color it in brown if you want. Good. And there's your dog. Upgrade ones. Now doesn't Miss Tar's picture of fish look like fish? His blue collar and everything. That's all for today, Grade 1s. I hope you had fun. Goodbye.